Hello my fellow Strata for Lovers, welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to be speaking about what happens when Moon is in the sign of Taurus. And if you don't know your placement, and if you want a video astrology consultation, make sure you check the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. If you have a question, if you want to contact me, just reach out to me. I'm very responsive. And let's begin. What happened when Moon is in the sign of Taurus? See, moon is your emotions. Moon is the way you think. Moon represents your feelings. If you ask me, from all the seven planets, the main planet that shows your personality is the moon because moon represents your mind. And in manifestation, it represents your mother. How your mother nourishes you. How your mother treats you in your life. It's the mother figure. Any mother figure that comes into your life represents is by his moon and the personality of your mother and what she did in, in your life is seen through moon's placement and sign and in the house the house represents what she did what she mainly focused in your life her main focus that she provided to you the nourishment that she provided you in your life is seen through the sign and house placement of moon and also has to do with the fourth house because fourth house is actually the physical body of your mother and moon also represents the level of happiness because it controls originally the sign of cancer and it, it falls in the fourth house so it shows the level of happiness a person has how does a person feels mentally is seen through moon so if moon has a lot of positive aspect the person will be positive the moon has a lot of harsh aspect, malefic aspect, let's say, especially like, let's say, Saturn or Rahu Ketu in conjunction or Mars can irritate, but that all depends because Mars is energy. It can make the moon stressful, especially if it's tightly conjunct moon or is aspecting moon very tightly. It shows a lot of pressure within the mind and so it could destroy a person's happiness, but vice versa. If moon is with Venus, the planet of pleasure and luxury, the, the person is going to feel very, very, in relationships, they're going to feel very happy and blissful with their life. They will be living that luxurious lifestyle. If, if moon and Jupiter is conjunct, it creates a yoga. Gosh, just theory yoga, something like that. But it's a very powerful yoga in Vedic astrology. Look it up, moon and Jupiter. So the person becomes super optimistic and blessed because it's receiving the, the most beneficial aspect possible or conjunction by Jupiter. Jupiter is the most beneficial planet of them all. Is the guru, is the gift from the gods. Wherever Jupiter is at and whatever Jupiter touches, it blesses that house. It blesses those planets. So moon will feel amazing. So moon represents your personality more than anything, including the sun. Because sun just represents your ego. It's like the sun. If you want to look at the sun, it represents the way you shine into the world. So the sun provides life. The sun is life. So what it does internally, sun is our heart. It's just our, the way we express ourselves, our ego, how we identify ourselves. The way we express ourselves to others naturally. But moon is more the mind. It's more how you feel, how you how you act. It's mine. So look at the moon placement more than anything. Especially the ascendant. The ascendant just shows your body, your physical self, how you look. And the ascendant lore will show you where are you going towards mainly in life. What is your main focus in life? That shows the the lord of the first house. But now let's speak about Taurus. Taurus is a very realistic sign. Taurus is all about finance. Taurus is all about stability. Taurus is about finding value in materialism. Everybody got different values in this world. Remember that. And that's Taurus. Everybody has a different sense of value. Taurus is about pleasure and luxury and money and wealth and living lavish. 
why do I say this? Because it's control. Taurus is controlled by the planet of Venus. And Venus is all about pleasure and comfort. But there's two sides of Venus. This is the side of Venus about luxury and pleasure. Where the other side of Venus, which is Libra, is all about relationship. So Venus actually feels amazing in Libra. Because that's his multicone sign. That's his original home. But it also means a lot in Taurus. It's another side of Venus. This side is all about creating a foundation they are very family oriented and that's what happens when moon comes into the sign of Taurus they become very financially savvy they seek for financial stability every day they're always out there just working and getting their money straight they're very intelligent when it comes to finance and here moon is considered exalted Exalted for any planet when you see that term means that a planet feels at its highest dignity So it feels at its best in this sign Exaltation means at its best And debilitation means at its worst at its lowest potential at its worst placement that it could be So what happens when V when moon is in the sign of Taurus is considered exalted why is because Taurus is a very stable earthly planet I mean sign and if you put moon moon is a water planet emotions goes up and down right our emotion goes up and down if you put moon in, in this sign of Taurus the person is gonna feel much more stable in their mind so the main thing that you will get from this sign is that they're very realistic and they're very stable in their emotions so any sort of changes or dramatic event or somebody try to hurt them or an event trying to hurt them or any sudden change, they will withstand that. They will prevail through anything because now the mind, the emotions are stable. Moon controls the tide of the ocean. That means a lot. That means a, that's a reflection inside of us that our, we as humans, we could be very moody. Our emotions change, our personality change. But here, Moon and Taurus, a person is very stable in their mind. And nothing really affects them. Nothing really gets to them. They're very strong. Taurus, the symbol is a bull. Think about that. Their mind is strong. And they're strong. And they want the best for their family. These people best believe they want the best. The best out there, the best in the market, the best clothing, the best odor, the best perfume, cologne possible. They want the best cars. They want to live that lavish lifestyle. And wherever moon is placed in, it will show you where they seek financial stability, where they seek to be stable. And because Moon represents your mother and her personality and what she's doing into your life. No matter what house Moon is placed in, it could be a Destana houses, you know. It is still gonna do very good because it is exalted. Moon is gonna your mother's gonna be a good source of income in your life. She's gonna help you prevail financially. Your mother's gonna help you receive the finer things in life. Your, your, your mom is going to be very supportive in your life. You will have a very good relationship with your mother. This is actually a very, very blissful placement to have, Moon and Taurus. Because now the mind it feels great. It feels blessed. It feels stable. It feels strong. It's like a rock. It's like a bull. Nothing can break them. You see... This is actually one of the best placements to have. You're lucky if you have this. Okay, thank you for watching Astrolog Elevate Your Thinking. And also, these people could become very creative, musically, or in the financial business. These people are artistic naturally because it's controlled by the sign of Venus. Their moon is all about, it's in the sign of Venus. They could become great artists, musicians, or they can lean towards the business side. Any field of career that will be towards finance, they will excel.
but also they do great musically because Taurus originally controls the second house of your throat. The second house represents your throat and your intake of food and the sound of your voice. You feel me? So that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a person who is able to sound very pleasant, especially if Moon is in the second house. A person can become very artistic or in any other placement. This is a great placement for a musician. Okay, thank you for watching Astrala for the Major Think It. Make sure you like, share, subscribe for much more videos. The movement is getting beautiful. Thank you for everybody who's supporting this channel. Thank you. To the next one. Peace.